Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install locally this new tool called as AutoRag. AutoRag is a new twist on an old concept. When I say old, it means that few months old because in AI even few months are like light years. AutoRag enables you to create an optimal rag pipeline for your data. RAG simply means Retrieval Augmented Generation. What happens is that these LLMs, they have been trained on a huge corpus of data, but they are unaware of your own data. It could be your company's data, it could be your personal data. If you want to provide that data as a context to these LLMs, you need to either fine tune them on that data or you need to use RAG. Fine tuning is a time consuming and expensive exercise. That is why people opt for RAG and there are various other advantages too. Fine tuning has its own advantages and I have done that comparison on the channel. When it comes to RAG, in very simple words, you need to build a RAG pipeline and that works by splitting your own data into smaller chunks, converting those chunks into numerical representation called as embeddings or vectors, storing those vectors in a vector store and then whenever a user makes a query about your own data from LLM, that query is converted into numerical representation, a similarity search is run through the vector store, and then similar results to the user's query are returned. They are appended to user query, they are given to LLM, and then LLM uses that information plus its own intelligence to give a more grounded, intelligent answer. That is what track pipeline is. There are various ways of creating these pipelines as what to use, what not to use. That is where this auto rack is trying to help. It enables you to find an optimal rack pipeline for your data and that is where it shines. The way it works is quite um, interesting. It supports a simple way of evaluating many rack module combination. So it gives you a nice interface where you can check it out. I will drop the link to their GitHub repo. They have various other information and evaluation benchmarks, but I'm not going to go into those. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to install it locally, and then we will also check it out in a Gradio demo quite easily as how it works. One thing upfront is that at the moment, it is working with OpenAI's API key, so it doesn't really uses any local models as far as I can see, but as it is OpenAI compatible, so it shouldn't be too hard for anyone to just fork the repo and then create an OpenAI compatible endpoint, use it with llama.cpp or OpenAI or wherever you like. Anyway, so let's get it started and then we will see how it works. Before that, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description, so do check them out. Let me take you to my terminal where I am running this Ubuntu 22.04 and I have this one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy masked compute. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to mass compute and a 50% discount coupon in video description. Really check them out, really cool stuff. Okay, so let's clear the screen. First up, let's quickly create a virtual environment with Konda. Shouldn't take too long. Let's also install the Git LFS to handle the large file. Okay, so I think I didn't give it the proper command. So I'm just going to install it with sudo because I'm logged in as Ubuntu user. And then let's git clone the repo of this auto rack and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And that is done. And now let's install all the requirements from the root of the repo. And that is going to take a couple of minutes, so let's wait. And everything is installed. Now, in order to run this application, all you need to do is to just run this Python 3 app.py from the root of the repo, and then it is going to open a Gradio demo. It is running on our local host, as you can see at port 7860. So let me access it in the browser. 
the resenter face looks good so this is a naive rag chatbot as they call it from auto rag here you need to put in your open as api key and they don't share it which is cool so and if you are following along you can also grab it from platform.openai.com it is a paid option so let me set my key here and the api key is set as you can see now as you would imagine the way it works is you just upload your data from here and then you chat with it so let me upload a file from my local system so what i'm going to do i'm just going to upload a pdf file which just, just contains a random data about myself so you see i have up uploaded the file let me click on submit file it is doing that all rag pipeline thing where it is chunking it converting it into numerical representation it's a very small one page file so that is why it was fairly quick as you can see and from there once the file is uploaded you can start chatting with it for example if i ask it who is Fahad Mirza and then if i press enter it is going to give me the data back let me just make it slightly smaller so that it will fit onto the screen so as soon as i have pressed enter here in this text box it has given me the uh, answer here and it is pretty grounded because this model has no idea who i am if you would ask it either it would hallucinate or fabricate or it would just say model doesn't know but this is what it is what is present in that pdf file let me quickly show you my pdf too so that you would know what i'm talking about so this is a simple file which contains some random data about myself which it has just used in its rag pipeline so you don't have to really worry about the, all the chunking indexing vectorization and everything it has done everything automatically for you another thing which is a related project to it is that if you don't uh, like the results you can even create your own data and then you can optimize it uh, by simply following there another tool which is called as auto rag data creation something like that but i will be covering it in another video because that's a full video but for now if you are just looking to implement auto rag in your um, system in a very very easy way i think that is the simplest way i could find in order to do to do rag on your own system the only I would say downside is that we would have to stick with OpenAI, which is expensive, especially if you are doing bulk upload, bulk ragging. But if it's a production environment, you want a solid rag tool where you don't really care about throttling and API cost. Seems like a good tool to me. I will drop the link to its repo in video's description. Let me know what you think about it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.